You know, I mean, there's lots of things that are wonderful to do, like making love and things like that. But when you look down at a field of new snow, it's an elation that, that just it gets into your, into your psyche. And it's, it's, it's not rocket science. You know, enjoy yourself. Imagine a ski area that embraces the past. Fun, relaxed, family-oriented, adventuresome, and affordable. A place that receives over 21.5 feet of dry powder, an abundance of sunshine, and offers a variety of terrain, including an accessible backcountry. That place is Mount Baldy. There, there wasn't even a road here when we started building. And in those days, I was a lot younger and a lot tougher. Now, now I could not hardly walk up from the lower road by myself. Oh my gosh, look at here. This cabin, all of it came off, I guess. <laughs> what a crazy way to build a house. That your roof unloads in your parking lot. <laughs> no thanks. It seems like everyone kind of knows each other up here. You know, there's like, what, 100 cabins? Year-round, I think there's 30 permanent people. You're, you might not even live up here, but if you're a pass holder for a few years, you're local. This is my friend Mike. He, he's a, one of the next next to old timers. Next to old timers, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not as old as him. The, the mountain Shoes story is really, you know, a bunch of people wanting to have a ski hill and just did it with brute strength and awkwardness in them. We were always dollars poor, land rich, and and uh, <laughs> and so we were always trying to figure out how to do it ourselves, you know, and so. We don't even have a, like a corner store to pick up milk, smokes, beer, whatever you're looking for. It's harder than say a hill like Big White that's just out of Kelowna with 125,000 people and they're 40 minutes out where 20,000 people where maybe 5,000 of them ski and board and half of them maybe only come up once a year or something, right? When the, the small hill started, they were community operated things. You know, somebody formed a ski club. And now it's grown into these enormous veils, which to me, it's not a fun thing to go to anymore. I've been to all of them, I ski all, almost everything in the West, and but I, you know, it's pretty hard to beat Baldy when the weather is good. started snooping around up here 66. My uncle was one of the original owners. So like when they started coming up here, I didn't have to go to Sunday school anymore. It was great. Yeah, Chucky looks after the toolbox. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, so I've been here since the start. That's the first time we ever had three snowcats actually operating. Here's Terry Smith. He's what, the original guy that built the place, the lodge, the lifts, everything kind of my mentor, really nice guy. He would give you a bear hug, you'd break a rib. The honky-tonk run, which is 
farthest one over. My son cut that in 1976, working for Terry. He said to me, he said, I send Rick out with gas and oil and a chainsaw and a lunch. And every once in a while, I'd walk outside to see if I could hear the chainsaw, and I know he was still alive. <laughs> there, there you go. There we go. It used to be that everybody knew everybody. I threw my highways hat in the shop. It's, it's getting a little bit different now, but a lot of the new people coming in are sort of getting into that too. We'd really try to treat everyone like they're your parents, your brother, your sister. Boom! Freshly with the tap. Hey. We, we want them to have the best experience they can. Even if the skiing sucks and you know we ran out of this in the in the bar. 51 lagger. Keep it going, keep it going. Keep it going. There's no no fries left because there was 500 people up today and everyone ordered poutine. In the bank and There are more and more people that I don't got a clue who they are. And it's great to see new faces, right? I had an interesting one a couple years ago, I guess. We went to Nova Scotia. And I'm in the parking lot. And I'm standing there having a smoke with this guy. And so, where are you from? I'm on a small ski hill in the South Okanagan. He goes, Well, I'm from the island. What ski hill? I saw you probably never heard of it. This place called Mount Baldy. One time, one cold. <laughs> yeah. I was there for St. Patty's Day. Jello shooters, I've never been so hungover in my life. He's, I said, oh, you met Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> he started to laugh. <laughs> it was kind of neat. And you know, the <clears throat> funny thing about being on the mountain, I've, I come up every summer and work on my cabin and do things, and change things and fix things. I always ask myself, why am I so <laughs> dedicated to doing that? And now that I'm here, then I kind of have to keep going because I can, I'm not at the end yet, but I can see it pretty clear out there. <laughs> but I love to be up here. We really went through an amazing time, you know.